up in the sky. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Whoosh! No, it's a flying baby that we're going to customize. And we are going to pluck it out of the air and turn it into Pig Patch from Five Nights at Freddy's Simulator. Look, it looks like the baby's bouncing on a trampoline. The first thing we're going to do is paint the entire baby white because we need a base coat for the pink paint. If we don't, the pink paint usually takes multiple, multiple coats to put on and it just doesn't look as good. So we have to paint it white. So now it's on to the pink paint. This is kind of a darker, brighter color pink and I think it works well. I really think it matches the Five Nights at Freddy's Simulator Pig Patch Pink. Oh my goodness, that's hard to say. Pig Patch Pink. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Pig Patch Pink. After that, I painted on Pig Patch's details. He has a light pink patch on his belly. And a light pink snout. And it's really starting to look like a piggy baby. Pig Patch has the characteristic Five Nights at Freddy's big black circles around his eyes. And I added two black nostrils to his little piggy snout. and a great big Five Nights at Freddy's mouth. I painted in the whites of his eyes. His eyes are very round. Most of the Five Nights at Freddy's characters have these really big round eyes. It kind of makes them easy to do because they're just like big circles. Then I painted on his brown shorts. Off the top of my head, I can only think of one other Five Nights at Freddy's character that has brown shorts like these or similar to these. Let me know in the comments down below if you know who I'm thinking of. Now Pig Patch has one green eye, and one purple eye. And he also has a little pink belly button. He has rosy cheeks like Circus Baby, which look a lot like big round circles. And Pig Patch has two bottom white teeth. So the teeth aren't on the top and there aren't very many, there's just two. I added his pupils and I kind of messed up on the green one. He's, he's got one goat eye it looks like, but that's okay, we're all right with that. Next I cut out some pink foam ears. Then I painted them Pig Patch Pink.
and then painted on little centers of the ears in light pink. When everything was dry, I glued on the ears. And he was complete. He is a little bit scary. This is, I don't know if this is the scariest one I've ever made, but this one is, is quite interesting, quite creepy. It's a little piggy baby. Okay, now Pig Patch has a banjo, and so I thought it'd be fun to make the banjo as well. I used a puff paint bottle to make the circle because it was about the size I wanted. And then I used a popsicle stick to draw some straight lines for the neck of the banjo, and then I drew the top. I cut it out, and I made another circle for the center of the banjo. Next, I painted them, and I painted them the same color as the foam. I do this because I feel like it looks more finished. It kind of gives it a glossy finish. It kind of reminds me of vinyl once it's painted. Then I painted on the details in gray around the banjo, and I kind of just loosely painted these on. Admittedly, I could have done a lot better. Truth be told, I should have used pens for this, especially for the strings. But funny story, all of my markers and pens were at home, and I was at the studio, and I didn't feel like going home to get them. I thought, I can just draw them on. No, they didn't actually work out as well, but you know, it's okay. It looks all right. We won't be winning any awards with this one though. And here they are, little baby pig patch and his banjo. The banjo is the same size as the baby but I thought it would be fitting because a baby shouldn't be bigger than the banjo because babies are smaller than banjos, generally speaking. He turned out pretty cute and creepy, which is really what you go for with a Five Nights at Freddy's animatronic. You kind of want it to be creepy, so it worked out. Here he is wrapped in a little fur blanket, cuddled in love like the little pig patch that he is. I wonder if he can play his banjo. Well, Freddy, here we are at the end of the video. Wait, what? This is the end of the video? That's amazing. Why do you say that? Because we can literally do whatever we want. Freddy, did you just turn into an LPS, Freddy? Why, yes, yes I did. You know why? Because it's the end of the video. Yeah, I'm not following. At the end of the video, you can do whatever you want because nobody's watching. What? Come on, they watch the end of the video, don't they? Nope, they don't. They won't even notice that now I'm a pixelated construction set. Well, stop, come on, they, wa they watch, wait, they watch, don't they? I mean, come on. What's going on with Freddy? <gasps> is it the end of the video? Uh, yeah, why does everyone know this but me? This is awesome, whoop. This is awesome. Now we get to be pixelated, yes. Pixelated Pals, Pixelated Pals, we are now the Pixelated Pals. Uh, you guys, you're gonna feel really silly because people are watching. Like, lots of people, I am certain. Oh no, they're not. They're not seeing this at all. They tuned out a long time ago. We get to do whatever we want back here. That's why now I'm like an old black and white movie, and so are you. What? No, I'm not. What? Ah, uh, Bonnie, turn me back. People are watching. They will be distressed to see me in black and white like an old movie. They're used to seeing me in my happy colors. They aren't even looking. Look, now I have a popsicle stick. Freddy, they'll see you. You can't turn into a popsicle stick. I just did it. I know how to settle this. Hey, guys, are you still watching? Let me know in the comments down below by saying the secret word. Purple guy. 
and uh, I'll see you next time. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe. See you next time. Have a great day.